Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about something called the percent of change. So we're going to do two problems together on the first page. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems in your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so really what you need to know is over here in this box, uh, this is the percent of change proportion. And really, all it is is the percent of change over 100 equals the amount of change over the original amount, right? Now, anytime you hear the word original, that's kind of like the starting point, all right? That's where the, the change occurred from, all right? And then the amount of change, that's like the, the difference, like how much something has grown or, or maybe shrunk. So let's just dive right into a problem here. So it says, your friend diets and goes, and, and the weight goes from 125 pounds to 110 pounds. What is the percent of change? All right, so let's set up our proportion. And the 100 always goes on the bottom right hand corner. And we're trying to figure out what this what is the percent. So the percent of change, that's going to be the unknown. So we'll use N for the unknown. Now, your friend, when they dieted, they went from 125 pounds to 110 pounds. So they started at 125, right? That's, that's kind of the original amount. So the 125 will go where the original amount is. And then the amount of change. Well, when you go from 125 to 110, that's a, a drop of 15 pounds, right? So the 15 will go right here. So again, the 15 is the amount of change. The 125 is the original amount. And we're solving for the uh, percent change, which is the, the, the value of N. All right, so now that we have our proportion set up, we can um, write an equation, because I know that 125 times N is gonna equal 15 times 100, which is 1,500. Because again, the, the cross products of two equal fractions are always the same. And now we can solve for n by dividing both sides by 125. And when I do 1,500 divided by 125, I get an answer of 12. All right, so when n is 12, there was a 12% change uh, in, in your friend's weight by going from 125 pounds, 125 pounds to 110 pounds. And this is a 12% decrease, all right? So normally you wanna include uh, either the increase or decrease in your answer. All right, let's do one more. This time it says the baseball team won 10 games in May and then won 13 games in June. What is the percent of change from May to June? All right, so obviously the team got better, right? So the percent of change is gonna be positive. So Let's set up our proportion. So 100 always goes here. And we're trying to figure out the percent of change. So that's going to be above the end, above the 100. Now, the team started off by winning 10 games. And then they won 13 games, right? So 10, that's going to be the original, which goes down here. And the amount of change, well, when you go from 10 games to 13 games, that's a change of 3, right? So 3 is going to go where the amount of change is. So now we can write our uh, equation. So three times 100 is 300. And that's gonna equal n times 10 is 10n. And now when we divide both sides by 10, 300 divided by 10 gives us 30. So the baseball team had a 30% increase in wins from May to June. All right, so now, now they understand a little more about the percent of change, when you pause the video, and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do this practice problem. So it says John sold $400 worth of jewelry on Monday. And on, should read, on Tuesday, he sold $500 worth of jewelry. So what was the percent of change? All right, so John obviously went from $400 to $500. So let's set up our, our proportion. So the bottom right hand corner is always 100. And the end value, that's gonna be the percent of change. Now, John went from $400 to $500. So the original amount is gonna be 400. And then the amount of change, when you go from 400 to 500, that's an increase of $100. All right, now here's a little secret that you can do to make this a little bit easier. Now we could do 100 times 100, right? 
and have that equal 400 times n. But if you notice, this fraction here, we can reduce. I can reduce 100 four hundredths just down to one fourth, right? So it's totally fine to reduce a fraction if you need to. So now we know that four times n equals 100, right? Because one times 100 is 100. And then when I divide both sides by four, 100 divided by four gives us 25%. So John had a 25% increase from Monday to Tuesday in his sales. All right, how'd you do?